This video presents the 2020 to 2021 enclosed heat exchanger project completed by Hunter Doherty, Jacob Huber, Taylor Noble, and James Thielen. The project was mentored by Dr. Adam Gladen and was solely funded by the North Dakota State University Department of Mechanical Engineering. This project aims to serve the needs of the South Dakota Department of Game, Fish, and Parks, who need a device that is capable of cooling small sections of natural streams to prevent stocked trout from dying during the hot summer months. The given solution was an enclosed heat exchanger with a downstream opening to allow fish into the enclosure where the internal temperature is cooler than the ambient stream temperature. A scaled down prototype was needed to allow for testing in a small scaled stream. MATLAB was used to compare the theoretical pressure drop and heat transfer of four initial designs, since these parameters have an impact on the energy needed for operation. The system functions by moving cold water through the submerged heat exchanger. Therefore, the work done by an onshore pump and chiller need to be considered since the full-scaled design will be powered by solar energy. Detailed analysis showed that the serpentine design had the highest heat transfer capabilities while the header design had the lowest pressure drop of the initial designs. The final design for testing was a modular combination of the header and serpentine designs to allow for easy testing of several path iterations while using the same headers. The variations between designs included pipe diameter, path length, and total number of paths. The prototype headers and paths were built using copper pipe and fittings. Brass compression fittings were used to attach the paths to the headers and allowed for paths to be quickly changed. The testing setup included a transfer pump, holding tank, chiller, flow rate gauge, and differential pressure gauge. The prototype was tested in the downstream section of the scaled stream where the heat exchanger could be fully submerged. Tracer DAC was used to collect temperature data from the thermistors used during testing. Analysis of the experimental results revealed that the MATLAB model was able to accurately predict trends in the heat transfer rate. Analysis of the results also revealed that the MATLAB model massively overpredicted the pressure drop for each configuration. As evidenced by the variance in the measured temperature from inside the enclosure, there was a significant amount of water flowing in and out of the enclosure while in use. Therefore, drawing conclusions about the performance of the heat exchanger configurations is difficult. Further testing with a different enclosure design is needed to make accurate statements about heat exchanger performance. We would like to make the following acknowledgments for the people who contributed to the success of the project.